Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Somebody doesn't know what to do, man. They are stressed out. I feel like, honestly, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but is this person popping up in your dreams a lot? I feel like they're, um, they, they dream about you. It turns into a nightmare because they can't actually be with you. There's too much um, that they've done to you that they may feel like they can't. Like, these are things you can't come back from. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. But I'm feeling like this person's having dreams, and they're, like, with you in, in their dreams, and then they wake up in a sweat because they just quite simply don't know what to do. And this person, look at this, they're in love with you. They're in love with you, collective. Um, so you may be seeing this person in your dreams, okay? Um... I'm picking up on that really heavy, and now I'm my, I'm getting the goosebumps, okay, under my sweater. So, yeah. Um, you may see this person in your dreams here, and I feel like this is them. It's almost like you're, you guys are both uh, sort of dreaming about each other, but not that you're meaning to, you know. Uh, but this person wakes up, they realize that you're not there, they realize all the things that they've done wrong. I feel like this person's being shown some things in their dreams about how they treated you and how it felt for you. You know, because um, they wake up feeling that pain, that anxiety, that worry, waking up in tears in the middle of the night, um, can't sleep, having nightmares, you know, feeling heartbroken, a lot of tears here. A lot of tears. I feel like this person's receiving messages, too, through the dreams. You could be telling them in your dreams, you know. Um, we could have been happy. Um, yeah, the, and look, the divine is giving this person messages. I kid you not. Look, and right like that. This, I feel, is the divine giving this person messages in a dream state. I don't know why I'm picking up on the dreams, but... I feel like they know they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with you. Or they may have already been married to you in the past. Maybe you guys could have children together. Um, and maybe they're, they're remembering a time when things were beautiful. And they blew it, right? I feel like the divine is showing, showing this masculine a lot of things. A lot of things. What they lost and why. How badly they screwed up their destiny, how badly they screwed up their wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's all coming through in their dreams and that they are completely off balance. It's like they feel dizzy or something. I don't know, is this person sick? I feel like all the messages and the stress and the worry and all of it. Remember how you feel when, when how you felt when this person broke your heart, right? It, it probably knocked you on your butt. And that's kind of how they're feeling right now. Everything that, that they put you through is they wake up with that stress, okay? They wake up with that, and they realize that um, you're not talking to them. Uh, yeah, they want this back. They're in love with you. I feel like this person... Um, they may be even asking other people, yeah, see, there's that two of swords that I picked up on. Um, yeah, you're not talking to them, so they may be going to people that you know. Um, and I don't think you realize this behind the scenes. Like, you, yeah, you don't, you're hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. I feel like this person is collaborating with other people who know you to try to figure out how to get back into your inner circle. Okay, because honestly, they have no idea. And you're keeping all your moves hidden. They may have been um, hoping for a sign from you that they can approach. They're not getting that sign. Like, they don't know what to do. But they're super stressed out. And the nightmares, guys, it's not really a nightmare. It's a, it's a good dream, I feel, um, that takes them... To, like, it takes them through everything that you experienced with this person, good and bad. This is the dream that they have. It's almost like a complete review. 
and what they did to you and how it must have felt. And they wake up with those emotions, those feelings, those senses. You know, this is the divine showing them, telling them to learn a lesson, giving them the information, um, each one dream at a time. And so they wake up in like a cold sweat, crying. Um, they they, they want to come back in. They want this um, second chance with you here. They know you're, you're the one that they're in love with, okay? But you're not speaking. You're not letting them in. You could have this person blocked. Yeah, they... I feel like they're trying to talk to other people to figure out what to do. <laughs> Honestly, what do I do? Yeah, because clearly, look at how burdened they are over how they treated you collective. Uh, you don't trust this person anymore. You see this person as a liar, a cheat, somebody who's going to come in and take advantage of you because that's how they treated you in the past. Each one of these swords is how they treated you. You're face planted in almost like a mental prison here. Um, this is all that um, all that this person did to betray you. Okay? And I feel like the one sword that's missing, because you've got six swords here and seven swords here, right? The one that's missing is that communication. The one that you're holding up. Thank you. Thank you. The one that you're holding up, waiting for that communication, waiting for the truth. Thank you, Divine. Yes, and they're burdened over this. They're burdened because you see this person as a backstabber because they stabbed you in the back. Because that's the side that they showed you. And that's the side that they left you with. To heal from on your own. They put the sword in your back, lied to you, betrayed you. Um, they were sneaky about it. I feel like this person wasn't honest. Um, they were very sneaky. They were hiding some things. Maybe they thought that they would get away with everything. You know, maybe they laughed about it because they thought that this was easy to do. It's really sad. And I feel like you gave this person nothing but love. You are the Ace of Cups. You are the blessing in love. So I know that you were very loving to this person. And they betrayed you for it. And now they're carrying this burden because night after night in their dreams, they're being shown. You know, each time they wake up in the middle of the night, man, they wake up in a cold sweat, stressing out, feeling the, ex the same pain they made you feel. They're being taught a lesson here. They're being given messages here and the information, okay? And they're really burdened by this. They're burdened by the fact that you don't feel the same way about them anymore. I feel like some of you, whoever this is, you don't even want to talk to this person anymore. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart because you don't want it broken again. You know, this is too many cards though, Divine. You could be a Gemini. You could be um, a Cancer. Maybe Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is here, yeah. Um, you could be dealing with um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe, or a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. But I feel like this person's really burdened because they know you want an explanation. And you, boy, you, you deserve one. They realize that now. They're realizing that, okay? But, yeah, if they waited too long. They waited too long um, while they hung out and just thought about it <clears throat> and procrastinated on coming forward when they should have done the right thing. You know, now they're feeling like a fool. Because they're losing this Ace of Cups and they made it very difficult for them to come back in because I feel like this person played you. They had other options and you found out. And you found out. I feel like this person treated you like another option and they, they did whatever they wanted. This could have been somebody who was very impulsive. Um didn't see that there would be any any consequences. Like I said, I think they, they thought that they could get away with this, but they didn't get away with anything because the divine saw everything happen to you. And I feel like all you did was give this person love. 
You know, I feel like you found out that they had other options and, and you were used. And now you don't trust them anymore. That makes it really hard for this person to come back in. See, they don't know what to do. They don't know. They know they want to get back together with you. They want to take some kind of action. You know, the King of Wands, it's really hard for them to hold back, take an action on anything. But yet they, it made, they made it so hard for themselves. It's like they self-sabotaged this connection, man. They lost big here. I, I feel like um, this person is in love. This player, they fell in love with you, Collective, and now they don't know what to do. Because they put you through too much and they sat on this for too long. They're seeing everything from a new perspective now. I feel like um, this person is seeing everybody that they hung around with from a new perspective. Okay, and I, they're realizing they're in love with you, but this person's a blubbering mess because they know it's coming to an end. You know, I feel like they're thinking to, they're stressed out here. They may be thinking to themselves, well, if I make this love offer to the collective now, they're going to see it as love bombing and lies. And I feel like that's true. Because they hid how they felt about you possibly this whole time. Man. Yeah, they've been watching you too. You're being watched heavy by this person. You know, I feel like they're, it's like a borderline obsession. It's, it's like stalking out here. Yeah, because they don't want to let go of your energy. They don't want to let you go. But yet, boy, they got a, they got a really um, bad way of showing it, don't they? And they're not, they're not coming in yet to make anything right. They're stressing out. And they did all this to you in the first place. So, yeah, this person knows all of this collective, and I feel like they can't, they're not meaning to put themselves in your dreams. It's something they're, I feel like actually it's the divine doing it. So you may, you may be dreaming about your person a lot. When you do know that that's actually their dream, and <laughs> they just put themselves in your dream. Okay, does that make sense? But, yeah, not that they're meaning to. This is all done by the divine to show this person the facts, okay? Unsugar-coated. They need to feel how you felt, you know? Um, yeah, they want to take some kind of action. They want to talk to you, but see, they feel defeated already because of all that they've done. It makes it very hard for them to get up from this position and take action, Remember when they put ten swords in your back, how it felt for you? This is how that's feeling for this person now. Um, the divine is making them feel everything that they gave you, okay? Yeah, so I, they want to take action, but they feel defeated already. Because of all that they did to you, this person's in a lot of regret. Um, they're in a lot of regret now. I feel like they, they did whatever they wanted. They didn't have any consideration for people's feelings. None at all. Um, but they're being taught a lesson. This player is being tamed by the divine, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, the, they're realizing you're moving on because they're watching everything you do. And they're studying possibly this twin flame soulmate connection because they can't get you off of their sorry collective some kind of technical issue with the camera um yeah i feel like they're studying this twin flame soulmate connection yeah and they're realizing um that this is very similar to their connection with you right so i figure like they're they're figuring out that you are their divine feminine, their divine masculine, their divine counterpart, okay? Um, they're realizing you're the one who's having a victory in everything. They're realizing you're a high priestess. They could even be getting tarot card readings, and the tarot card reader is telling them this, okay? Yeah, this person's in a lot of regret. I mean, and that's a sudden realization. That's a light bulb going on, going on in their head, like ding. Right? Oh, an aha moment. This is a divine being here that I've been dealing with. A true blessing in love. 
you know, so I feel like they are, in fact, um, they, I feel like they're getting tarot card readings or listening to readings out here on YouTube. And this reader is telling them this, okay? And they're also saying that you're moving forward and leaving this person out in the cold because they took too long to think about this. You don't think and keep an, uh, you're a, if you're a divine feminine, divine masculine, you're an earth angel. You don't keep it a divine being waiting this long to be appreciated. Hello. Let me repeat that. You don't wait a you don't make a divine being wait this long to be appreciated. Okay? So you're leaving. You're being led to. I feel like this person's being spiritually led towards you and you're being spiritually led forward. Um, yeah, and you're very balanced. You've done your work. This, the, the, I feel like this person is getting a reading. They're collaborating with others for information. And I feel like it's not just friends and family. They're taking it to um, someone who's intuitive. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're being told that this person's out in the cold and they're about to get more karma. You know, their life is about to crumble because they, they're not listening to the messages and they're not doing the right thing. Okay, and that's this tower moment. This is like a, oh, crap kind of moment. You know, and it's all because they, they were thinking about it, thinking about it in, in a lot of turmoil on the inside. They couldn't figure it out. You know what? And the, I feel like the reader is telling this person, hey, uh, the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, they've got boundaries, man. They've got boundaries. And they're, um, they're, if they're held, if, here's the thing, you're held in high regard, okay, by the Divine. You have standards. You're, you're held to a higher standard as well, okay? So, yeah, you're not going to just wait for this person forever. What were they thinking, Hermit? You could be dealing with um, a Virgo, Scorpio. We're heavy on Virgo, heavy on Scorpio. Pisces, uh, possibly a Leo. You could possibly be a Leo or a Gemini. A cancer, we're heavy on Cancer energy as well. Um, and Gemini. Okay. Um, I've got Sagittarius out here also. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, Leo. Taurus, Aries. Yeah, man. I feel like they are um, getting information from wherever they can, including tarot. But the tarot reader is, is telling them exactly what I'm saying. It's all the truth. And it, it's like a kick in the gut for this person. Yeah, they don't like what they're hearing here. They don't like what they're hearing and how it's making them feel. Okay, I feel like the tarot card reader is, t is reminding them everything they did wrong to you as well. And that's something they don't like to, like, you know, picture a tarot card reader where I'm sitting, right? And this person is like, I don't want to hear that part. I don't want to hear that part. Well, this is part of their transformation. And if, if a tarot card reader is a true um, intuitive, right, if they're uh, a true spiritualist, they're going to tell the truth. So I feel like they go to get a tarot card reading and this reader or whoever it is that they're talking to is telling them, man, didn't you screw up with the divine, with the divine beings? Didn't you, didn't you do all of this to them? You know, they don't want to hear that part. It's, it's literally, it's, at nighttime is so hard for this person. Like, they cannot rest. Yeah. They're being reminded of what they did to you, not only in dreams, but by other people. Okay, whoever it is that they're talking to, whether it's a tarot reader or not. And that's making this person feel very, very, very toxic. Okay? Like, they feel very toxic. This is somebody who is learning, okay? They're learning, and they're seeing the error of their ways. 
They're seeing their toxicity and how they treated you. They fully realize it and they're very regretful, okay? But still, at the same time, like, they don't want to be reminded of that. I feel like they remind themselves every night when they, when they sleep and wake up from that dream um, how exactly how you must have felt, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like this is your energy with the King of Swords here. I'm getting the sense that you're just cutting this person out. You, you're protecting everything that you've created, all of your healing, all of your hard work. Um, right now, especially your abundance, or you could have someone else around you kind of protecting you. I feel like this protective nature here. You could be a Virgo or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like, um, and whatever you do, whatever it is that you're doing here, I feel like you're an authority on it. Like you're a master at whatever it is that you're doing. You're very, very skilled, very smart, very hardworking, reliable, dependable. Man, you got it going on. And you're making bank. So you're very... Um, financially abundant as well and independent and beautiful uh there could be someone else around you maybe it's a father figure or something like that who's protecting you otherwise i feel like that's your energy um protecting everything that you've got because honestly there i feel i'm getting the sense that you just don't know who you can trust anymore after everything that you've been put through by other people yeah, wow. Some of you could be seeing some kind of professional and making some kind of investments with your money. Be careful about that too. You know, make sure all contracts are on the up and up before you sign them, right? Um, yeah, very intuitive, very spiritual person here. I'm really getting, you know, Empress in the Minor Arcana. I'm, I'm feeling like this uh, divine feminine kind of energy here, okay? I feel like you're protecting your love. You're focused on your spirituality and, and your intuition and your work and, and your growing success. And I feel like um, you're taking the role, too, of both masculine and, and feminine energy here. You don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. But yet you remain very loving, very nurturing. You just now you know that you can't trust everyone with your heart. And you realize that um, you have to protect that love because it is a blessing for everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, give me one more for the collective. I didn't realize how long this was getting. Give me one more for the collective. Yeah. I feel like this person is that they may even have to walk away. If you um, if you don't open that cup for them, they're going to have to walk away. And right now I feel like you're just very protective. I feel like you're kind of, um, even though you're loving, nurturing and everything, I feel like you kind of just want to be on your own for a little bit. You may be um, enjoying and protecting your um, being single. You may like being single, okay, because you're happy here. And you're very busy and you just want to, you just feel like working. I feel like you don't want to be bothered right now by anybody, okay? You may be still doing some healing as well because the end of the, this journey has been tough, man, you know? So, yeah, I feel like you just want to do you right now, Collective, especially if you're a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're a Virgo, you're really, really, really busy, focused on your abundance um, yeah, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you're feeling very protective of yourself right now. Like, you don't, it's hard for you guys to trust, you know, after everything that's been done. But this person, man, with every bit of information they ask for from other people, they get told how they treated you. Every time they go to sleep, they wake up knowing how they treated you. Um, this person didn't get away with anything. They're thinking about walking away from this because they don't know how to approach you, though. They, uh, they're being told 
though, by the divine and possibly another tarot reader, that they need to communicate. Otherwise, this is going to end. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? See, that's what I'm talking about. Their spirit is always with you. This is them I feel coming into your dream state. I gotta say, I want to tell you how I feel. I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. My memories of you, uh, my memories of you haunt me, yeah, and keep me thinking about what could have been. That's what I'm talking about. They're having all these memories. Um, they're realizing how they treated you, how it felt, everything, and they keep thinking because they're realizing too that they're in love with you and you were the blessing. They could have had somebody who would have loved them and never hurt them. You know, they could have had the ten of cups. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. They could have listened to other people talk about you. I hope that one day you can forgive I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustrations on you. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. See, that's them feeling that connection. And, st and looking into the Twin Flame journey facts, okay? Um, I look for you everywhere. Yeah. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Yeah, this person, man, they don't know what to do. Just know this. This person is gathering as much information on you as they can on this connection as they can getting readings um they're being told and they can feel exactly what they did to you okay i feel like they want to come in and talk they're being told that they need to apologize they need to communicate but they're holding back right now because they don't really know how to approach this okay Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I got for this reading. Um, you know what? Honestly, I am going to take this into the extended because I want to see, is this person going to come through or not? Are they going to talk or not? Like, it's serious. The, the divine's not going to leave this person alone. Um, they want this person to learn the lesson, which tells me this is a pretty important person. This could very well be your divine masculine. And the divine is on top of this person every night and throughout the day, giving them messages and signs to boss up. So let's see what they do. I want to see if they come towards you, okay? Come towards you, okay? Come towards